Okay guys, and what we want to do in this video is examine yet another non-price determinant of supply, something that causes a shift of the supply curve, and this is expectations of future price. Now, just to be clear, what we already have done is we've talked about subsidies and taxes, and again, I mean changes in subsidies and changes in indirect taxes, and how they can cause the supply curve to shift in and out changes in technology, changes in other related goods prices, changes in resource costs, and now changes in expectations regarding future prices. Now, just to be clear, and I'll take my time on this one, what we mean by that is that the price today is not changing. Producers expect the price to change in the future, and then the question is, how do they react to these changes today and again we're filling up the word stores so i will happily repeat myself changes in subsidies and taxes can cause a shift of the supply curve changes in technology causes a shift in supply curve changes in other related goods prices causes a shift in the supply curve changes in resource costs cause a shift in the supply curve and now changes in expectations regarding future price of the good that they're selling even though the price is not changing today causes a shift of the supply curve well, what do shifts look like? And I hope you're sick of seeing this slide now, guys, because you know it so well. So an outward shift of the supply curve means the entire supply curve itself moves outwards and to the right. This means that at every price more supplied, and this is known as an increase in supply, again, not an increase in quantity supplied. On the other hand, an inward shift means the entire supply curve shifts inwards and to the left, at every price less is supplied, and this is known as a decrease in supply, not a decrease in quantity supplied. So when we are talking about expectations of future prices, this refers to what producers think will happen to the price of their good in the future. Okay, so the price, what will happen to it? If the firm believes that the price of the good that they are producing will rise in the future, then there will be more profit for per unit sold the profit margin per unit sold increases and as such there'll be more profit in producing that good. What that would cause is an outward shift in the supply curve. If on the other hand the firm believes that the good that they are producing today, the price of it will fall in the future, okay, well then what will happen is the profit margin per good sold will also fall and then there will be less incentive to produce that good. So therefore, there will be an inward shift of the supply curve of that good today, even though this expected price fall may never occur. Okay, so if producers, suppliers, firms, expect the price of the good that they're producing to rise in the future, even though the price of the good is not changing today, that will cause an outward shift of the supply curve, right? That means that at every price, more is supplied, and this is known as an increase in supply. If, on the other hand, producers, the firm, those that are making the good to sell to us for a profit, believe that there is an expected future price fall, then they will reduce the amount that they do, are producing today at every single price. All right? And this is known as a decrease in supply. Um, guys, I know this is a short video. What will they do, though, just before I finish up? They, the idea is if they are producing a few different types of good, they'll reduce the supply of the good in question and potentially increase the supply of other goods that they are producing. But if they are only talk, if we're only talk, talking about one good, then all we need to know is that following an expectation of a price fall in the future, there is an inward shift in the supply curve, and this is known as a decrease in supply. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.